Hi, this is Norman with Guy Techie, and OS X Mountain Lion is out today. And so, what I'm trying to do right now is see if I can actually create a uh, DVD like I did with uh, Snow Leopard. And as you can see, I'm currently downloading it right now. And it's still got some ways to go. So when it's done, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can do the same thing as I did with Snow Leopard and make a real physical DVD out of this download. Okay, and here we are. Um, after you finish downloading, it's going to uh, attempt to install Mountain Lion. And of course, just like with uh, Snow Leopard, you don't want to let it do that. You actually want to close it out. So let's go up here, install OS uh, Mountain Lion, and then go to Quit Install OS X. Now, next what you want to do is you want to come down to your applications. So let's see there. Right click, you want to open that up. That's where you can find the install OS 10 icon here. Now, if you were to install, uh, go ahead and go with uh, go ahead with the install after you download. After it finishes installing, it's going to delete that icon which is the installer so you don't want to do that yet instead that's why we want to go in here right click show package contents we're going to dig into contents shared support and there is the DMG file so you want to right click copy and then paste it on your desktop and it's going to copy. It's a DMG file, so we know that's the uh, the right file. It's a disk image. All right, looks like uh, it's finished copying now. Let's go get information. As you can see, this is 4.35 gigabytes as it was before, which actually is too big to fit on a single layer disk. I actually tried, and it said it was not enough disk space. So. Uh, we want to go to Applications, scroll down to Utilities, go to Disk Utility. Okay. We want to click on Burn. Install esc.dmg, which is the file we just copied. It's going to ask for disk. We can actually leave all this other stuff uh, alone and I'm going to go ahead and stick that disk in and it's going to take a while for the disk to be detected and then written on again you must have a blank dual layer disk dual layer DVD that should hold about 8 gigs worth of data it's ready to burn so click on burn This is going to take a while, so we're going to go ahead and skip ahead. Why, well, burning a DVD sure takes a long time. It took me almost 20 minutes and I'm still at the verify stage. You definitely don't want to skip this step here because uh, you want to make sure that uh, whatever you uh, wrote on the DVD can be read back. You definitely don't want to find out you have a bad burn in the middle of an install. Okay, looks like it's done, and it actually spat the disc out, so I'm going to stick it right back in. Hit OK. Close this now. And it automatically comes up. And there is the install OS 10 Mountain Lion. So if you were to upgrade, you can actually go ahead and install from this DVD. As you can see, it was the same image that popped up as before. But that's not what we are interested in.
We're interested in seeing if it would basically boot off the DVD and allow us to do a clean install. And you definitely want to hold down the options key while it's booting back up. As it comes back up, it'll let the Mac um, see all the bootable options that you have. So you'll see in my case, I would actually have a Mac partition, a Windows partition, and then a bootable CD. And there it is. And just with like Snow Leopard, I bet it's probably going to take a while for it to load up. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut to the chase. It finally loaded. It took a while before it boot to this point. Almost as long as it took to burn that DVD. But now that we're here, as you can see, you have many ways, many utilities actually. Uh, on this disk, you can restore from Time Machine Backup, reinstall your OS X, which actually allows you to do a clean copy install, um, get help online, and even disk utilities here, so you can clear out all those old partitions before you, well, install your OS. I'll run through the menu here. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and show you the About OS X Utilities. You definitely want to burn a copy of this disk and put it somewhere safe so you can reinstall Mountain Lion directly if you ever need to. Again, make sure that you use a dual layer uh, DVD to burn this. It will not fit on a s standard single layer DVD. So. Uh, this is Norman with Guy Tiki and I hope this has been helpful.